Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I thought we would do a kickback chit chat, get ready with me, not necessarily testing new products, but just chatting about techniques that work, things that I'm loving, things that I've had in my collection for a long time that are tried and true. And I just wanted to do a full slow, like a slow get ready. You know the days when you're like, I wanna shave my legs, I wanna exfoliate, I wanna put on the eye patches, I wanna do the rollers. This is such a throwback for me because I used to literally do this to my hair before work almost every single morning. So I'm like, oh my gosh. I need more rollers. I'm ordering more tonight because I'm loving it. I'm loving like the bouncy layers and all of that. I just want to feel my best. It is one of those days, but I don't want it to be like heavy makeup. I want to be a glossy, glowy, best version of myself kind of a look. So we're gonna really focus in on the skin. I have already primed my face with the Stila All About Blur Blurring and Smoothing Primer. I put this on top of the water cream from Tatcha, which I let sink in while I was doing my hair care. I have a very methodical system with things. It's a very intelligent system, if you ask me. I have it down to a science when I want to get things done and maximize my time. So we're going for the most, but with the idea of not looking necessarily like we tried that hard, can that be done? We're gonna find out. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Banana Bright. I like putting this on kind of after skincare because I do feel like it has a tiny bit of a makeup priming component and it helps those fine lines to just not crepe up so much. We want the skin to look perfect. Also the lips, I have found a game changer, you guys. I have been suffering from the most dehydrated lips ever. It's the time of year, obviously, but it's just been bugging me. It's been like, oh man, like what is even going on? So I like using this Laneige sleeping mask. I use this as my gloss during the day as well. What I have found works beautifully. Game changer is a silicone scrubby like this and you just gently massage the lip. It's also going to increase blood flow, give you a little zhuzh, give you a little plumpness. I know I want that, you know, I haven't done my lips in forever, forever. I tricked you. In the last video, I feel like I was looking at the footage and I'm like, dang, the lighting made my lips look ginormo and it literally looked like here they are just bare but it looked like I had done something. You don't need to go too hard. Just make sure you wash that little scrubby when you're done. Mwah. So good. Okay, so now we are gonna go in with a brightener right in the corner here. And oh my gosh, how did I, I feel like I wanna just like cover that up right now. How did I burst like a blood vessel right in the exact center of my nose. Literally, I am Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I wasn't like squeezing my nose or doing anything. I just woke up one morning and I'm like, huh, that is extremely odd. I just, I scar worse than most people I know. Thank God we have makeup. So now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I am using the Hourglass Silk Vanish. And I am just pressing this into the skin, kind of taking the tip of this brush right here and jamming it in that area that commonly wants to break apart makeup. And I'm going a little bit up on the sides of the nose, a little bit under the nostrils, common area to get red. And then I'm gonna kind of fan out that edge All right, this is already looking really, really nice. You can see that just even doing this makes this area just kind of go boom and have more shape. I am gonna go in and look totally crazy using my favorite underpainting Scott Barnes technique. And we're gonna go in with a little bit of RCMA. This is the saddest palette. I broke the mirror right off. I need a new one. I'm ordering one today. So I like to start on the jaw and I go straight down. Do you see how that just creates, like my whole jaw just came to life. I go underneath, boom, 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 boom. 
By the way, oh my gosh, humiliation. Like I didn't think that commenting, I don't know. I don't think that drama channels really pay attention to what I'm doing anymore. I guess I'm mistaken and it's not a big thing. I honestly, it's fine. Um, but commenting a little bit on some TikTok culture, influencer, whatnot. I haven't been in drama in a hot minute. And I really, I don't consider this drama. I was addressing more so scammers who are telling people with like my image, you want to give away and da, 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 da. And it's a totally fake thing. And the video that I posted with James was us talking and legitimately, I've never worked from a script. I just sit down here and I'm like, blah. I, of course, get into like a serious moment. Like I have no brows on. I just have this like kind of smudged over my face. I couldn't really see a mirror very well. So I'm like not even doing the greatest job with my makeup. And I'm like having this like serious moment that gets lifted and put in drama channels and people are cutting it up. And the comments were like, oh my gosh, when did Tati not remember how to do her makeup. I was three steps into my routine. So I'm reading the comments and I'm like, Ugh, like it was so bad. So note to self, only discuss the drama when you are 100% full glam. That happened to me also when I was making like a halo announcement, I think, and I was doing a video like the worst products I've ever used. And I literally looked like a clown and all of the media outlets like lifted that photo of me and they're like, Tati Westbrook announces her new brand. And I'm like, like insert clown music, so bad. Um, anyway, we are gonna now be super extra and go into Danessa Myricks. And I am just going to use my Dior brush that I love so much. This is the 16. And I'm using two different textures, two different tones, one on the forehead, one here. I just like how this lays down on the forehead better. And I end up sandwiching everything together. The end result is beautiful in my opinion, very long wearing, which is what I am after. My biggest thing with makeup, I want it to look good in a photo and in person. That is hard to pull off like so hard, especially in the culture of using filter, filter, filter. And like, you can pretty much just look like you're wearing makeup without even trying, you know what I'm saying? But I want to look good in real life. I take pride in my skill and I take pride in looking like me in real life as well. So that's kind of why I get so crazy with like the cream texture and how I'm laying things down and how I'm setting it and all the different blending styles because you can really make your makeup game just elevate by taking a few more steps, taking a little more time, a little more TLC and it goes a long way. So I'm back in that. See, this is where I had pulled my contour up and so it literally look, I'm like, let me tell you how I feel as an OG YouTuber, you know? Always blend your contour up if you're going for that really sharpened effect, which I love. I don't care. You guys call me Skeletor all you want. I like how this looks. I like cheekbones. It's my thing. Haters gonna hate. Also, so many people were like, did you get your buccal fat removed? I'm like, no, I've been rocking the since the beginning. My weight has fluctuated throughout my life, like quite insanely. And even when I was at my heaviest, when I was younger, I still had somehow, I don't know. I, you know, blessed with good cheekbones. Thank you, mom. I like to enhance them. I like the shape. I like the look. Some people don't. And that's why makeup is awesome because we can express ourselves how we see fit and what we think looks pretty. Like, cause isn't it how you feel about how you look and not how everyone else feels, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're gonna go with the excess that's on this brush right here. This is a Sigma Chisel and Trim Contour F77. I am loving this brush. Like I've been using my Makeup Forever paintbrush for a long time. This is a little more densely packed and a little bit thicker, which you would think would make it a mess, but I actually have really, really been loving it. This one is good too. This is the Wavy. This is the 408. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, you look like you're a painter and it's a cute brush. I'm gonna kind of do a little contour up here like so. Oh, we almost didn't contour the lips. Hey, what am I thinking? For lips, I do like to do the RCMA. I like to go underneath there and then I kind of hit up with the liner, go right here. Foundation's gonna go over top of it anyway. This is how you end up looking like you got the juiciest, biggest lips without needing to spend the cash. 
And guess what? You know what I have to say about lip filler? Cause you can totally make it look like you got your lips done at home. I am telling you so many things can go wrong with lip filler. I've had lip filler migrate all the way up here. And then like when I would turn to the side and I'd be filming, I'd be like, oh my gosh, like what is going on there? I had to get it dissolved. Not to say that it always goes bad cause sometimes I get them done and I'd be like, beautiful. This is amazing. I'm living my best. I love it. But there would be other times where like on the inside of your lip, you can get a ball and it like feels like a marbles in your mouth or you go like this, you can see like the little lumpy bumpies. I would rather just use good makeup. What are you guys trying and testing? Tell me what I need to try and test that you have not seen me try and test. I will tell you I have been on TikTok and I already have had this in my drawer. I have every color and I would use this as a finishing powder, the Givenchy Prism that everybody's like flipping out over on TikTok. Like everybody uses this. So I was like, okay, I've used it, but like, let's try it again. It is really beautiful. I am really liking baking with it. I think that's a difference in the past. I would just set the face and I started baking with it and it's really, really nice. But it kind of has me going, oh my gosh, what other products from my past have I just abandoned that I need to repurchase because I'm in a mood to be a little bit extra and more fabulous with like my base routine, even though I am in Texas and I don't really have a need to be living that glamorous life, you know? But sometimes you gotta do things just to lift your own spirits. And I'm like, maybe I'm gonna revisit the gold primer or the Sicily primer. Cause I kind of miss having those like really over the top luxury items in my collection. What's like your favorite total luxury, ridiculous makeup purchase that you are living for at the moment? Let me know in the comments. We're gonna go in with the Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting from Shiseido, just a pump or two. I think I meant to throw this away. I'm happy I didn't because I used it the other day. I wanted something a little bit silkier, more radiant on the skin on top of all the contour business that I do. And it worked out so well. It's a little bit darker on the chest. It's okay. That's what I am wanting. So now I'm gonna go up, kind of blend in a little bit of that jaw contour, right? I'm not going over the contour contour yet. We're gonna wait for that. We're gonna stamp, 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 stamp. Bam, 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 bam. It's kind of aggressive. It's fine. Take whatever's left, go over the forehead. This PS is a Scott Barnes brush. This is a stippling brush, the number 68. You need this in your life. It's the best stippling brush. You wanna do his technique. You need this. It will blend everything correctly. So now we have that contour right here. And what I'm going to do is kind of go over it just a little bit, but I'm gonna blend up kind of almost toward the nose. I'm not using a ton of pressure. What I don't want is for that contour to get down here. You wanna kind of blend back if you're stippling over it. And if you wanna blend that edge out, go toward the nose. Ooh, she's feeling like she's got her teacher hat back on. Something is happening. I feel like I'm like alive from the dead. Something is happening. I'm in love with makeup again. We are back in business. Praise God. I wake up and I look forward to putting on my makeup. Does this mean I'm not depressed anymore? Possibly. It's a new chapter. I'm loving it. I'm gonna hop into more drama. Um, no disrespect, but Mary Phillips did not come up with this technique. I've had Scott on my channel, love Scott so much. He is the originator of the JLo Glow. Let's go over the lips a little bit. He's taught me so much. I appreciate him so much for being such a wealth of knowledge and to educate and freely give the knowledge also. So I always wanna like give him credit whenever I'm using his techniques because they will change your makeup game. Go watch that video. It step-by-step step will in more detail take you through the under contour highlight situation that we're seeing kind of have a viral moment. It just makes the skin look so pretty. And when I take the time and do it right, it comes out gorgeous, like in real life too. That's the good stuff. Okay, and while, let's just, we're just gonna do this for a moment. It's freezing here, so I don't need to do too much because most of this is going to be covered up, but I do want to go in. We're just honoring Scott today with this look. I just really like his products too. He's never paid me anything. 
ever. I'm just a fangirl. So I'm going in with the body brush. This is the 6-9. And we are doing that. I kind of like to set the body with this body bling powder while it's still a little bit dewy and has something almost to grab to. So that's why I take a moment and do that step in this particular order. I'm actually going to blot off a little bit of the excess shine from the foundation that has a little bit of oil in it which is good, but I don't wanna put powder on top of oil and have it kind of get gummy. So I always like to take a powder puff and just kind of blot off that excess. I'm giving you guys all the tips today. All of my weird little things that I personally do as well. Makeup artists like game-changing secrets and then my own weird kind of neurotic like, and then get the oil with a powder puff with no makeup and then spritz the face and dry it and do. There's just a lot that you can do to make the skin look elevated and better. Okay, we're gonna put on cream blush. We're gonna do it before we powder. Rowan blush, this stuff is so gorgeous. Just even looking at it, I'm like, I'm in a better mood. Just even looking at it. I'm gonna take a tiny brush. We're going in with a BK Beauty 110. I'm gonna go in get a little bit of the excess off because this is pigmented and I'm gonna just stamp this. I am gonna use a powder blush as well. So this is just kind of melding in with all of the cream products so that it doesn't turn cakey and pilly and weird on top of the powder for how I'm doing my makeup today. This will go on top of powder, but it's better if you do the correct order in my opinion. Okay, so we got a little bit of a blush going. I'm gonna take a spritz of the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. Boom. And then I'm gonna blot it off. Okay, so I'm just pressing absolutely everything in. I also recommend underneath the eyes, you want to press those creases, which they're gonna happen, out before you go in to powder. I am today gonna go into the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance and I'm gonna use, you guessed it, my Letitia Lamac. We're gonna load this up and just really press that on into the corner and on the side of the nose. And then down, kind of like this, to just set this annoying area of the face. I always crease there. It's my problem area. Okay, now we are gonna go in and bake with this Givenchy and feel super fabulous and fancy. This is number two. While it is doing its thing, I am going to do my brows. I'm going in with the Dior Show Brow Styler in 001. Can we tell she's having like a throwback? This is something I recently picked up at Sephora and I have repurchased this brow pencil so many times. All right, so this might get me in hot water, but honest question, you guys, how are basically teenagers affording Botox. Like I was thinking about this the other day and I'm like, you know, whenever I say like, oh, I didn't get a fill, I sound like I'm talking about getting my nails done. Like it's like that casual, right? But like back when I first got my apartment, I had to shop at the 99. Like we're talking makeup, food, home products, laundry detergents, like, I went to the 99 to get it done and I painted my own nails. I could not afford to get my nails done even. Like I couldn't even dream of getting Botox. When you are 19 or 20, why would you want it that young? Uh, I just, it's something I think about because I'm like, man, the crap I had to do to look good or what I thought was looking good. I mean, we are talking fashionista, head to toe, Santi Alley. If you know, you know. My bras were from Santee Alley. My shoes were from Santee Alley. I would go down on particular days, downtown LA, and just brave the crowds down there. It's a little wild. And I would buy what I thought was in fashion at the time, like shoes for $7. I'm actually quite grateful that I didn't have more money because I would have been terrible and irresponsible. But yeah, I used to love going to Santee Alley. Might touch those up in a minute. 
for now, they are fine. Let's do some lips. I really am loving this new guy from Tarte. This is a good one. And now I'm gonna go in with Angel from Huda Beauty. Perfect texture, really pretty nude. And because more is more, I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of this overnight lip mask from Laneige. I find that when I glop it kind of in the center here, it does not string and it kind of sinks into the lips and then smooths out all of those lines. It's ridiculous, I love it. <laughs> Literally looks like I just oof, got injections. Crazy. This is a really beautiful product. It's called Grande Brow 2-in-1. It's a tinted brow gel and serum. Really enjoying this. I just have a tip of kind of cleaning the wand off before you go in because it can come out a little too gloppy. And if you have tiny brows like me, you don't want that because then you'll kind of have that gel everywhere. So just make sure you kind of wipe it off and it's great. Let's dust off this bake, shall we? Just lightly, you don't wanna to press too hard. I like to kind of dust and then kind of pat whatever's left behind in. Same thing. That is a really beautiful powder. Really, really beautiful to bake with. Now we're gonna set the cream products with corresponding dry products. We're gonna go in with a powder bronzer. This is from L'Oreal. This is the infallible 24 hour wear I'm obsessed. I love how long wear this is, and I also love that it's not crazy pigmented. It blends very, very, very beautifully. And this I like to just kind of stamp over where I had all that cream contour, and it just helps to lock it in tight as well. So you see, I kind of keep going bam. I like just jam the brush in there one time. I don't swirl, it's kind of a hard texture and then I stamp on the skin as well. We're keeping with the drugstore theme and going in with a little bit of L'Oreal. This is in Baby Blossom, one of my favorites. I'm gonna take the brush that I kicked off the bake with and just tap it on over where I laid down that cream. Okay, we're gonna go in with some more Scott Barnes, more is more, look at this palette. I have loved on this for so long. It is such a good one. I'm gonna go into these kind of pinky shades right over here and literally just kind of graze outward just a tiny little bit. This stuff is potent. And I'm gonna kind of go up the high point of the brow as well. Just kind of try to grab all the light and just to my face does not exaggerate texture. This is a pricey palette, but you will not find softer highlight powders. All right, so now I'm gonna take these two top ones here and here. Maybe just load up the inner corners while we're at it. Let's get wild and try not to drench the hair. I don't know how this is gonna work. We're saturating the face, we're setting it with hot air. It just sinks everything into your pores. Make sure you have a good oil cleanser at the end of the day because this jams your makeup in there and then you're just locked in all freaking day long. And go back in with a puff and press, do not drag. So freaking smooth when you take the time and do the steps, the results, they are good. I'm going in a little bit more with some powder, just so lightly. Now we're gonna curl the lashes. I have been trying out putting castor oil on my lashes. I will update you all how that works out. I got a pack of spoolies from Amazon and I just kind of dunk it in. And a lot of people are like, this is how you get your lashes to grow without irritating your eyes because a lot of lash growers irritate me. So I will let you know. I have hope. 
I'm gonna take a Makeup Forever powder. This is the Matte Velvet Skin in Y535. I'm gonna take a Letitia Lamac FF6 and just kind of go in the crease. I want just a wash of shimmer over the lid. I'm really resisting the urge to go in and be like, bam, 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 let's do a smoky eye. Let's do something crazy. Let's like, I like how this looks. Let's go there. Resist, resist. This is a beautiful palette. This is, bur I always struggle with this. Burrito, Barretto. It's Barretto. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go into a little bit of this color down here, just like a bronze shimmery. I'm sure you have a bronze shimmery on hand and then lighten it up a little bit, kind of mixing. And I'm gonna go over the lid and kind of a little bit on top of what I placed in the crease. Cause I'm trying to look like, hey, she just effortlessly got ready in five. Really more like 45. This makeup takes time. But it's worth it. Okay, now I'm gonna go exclusively into that lighter shade right here and just kind of pat that on the inner half. And now that's just gonna kind of nicely grab a little bit of light and give that glossy glowy look. This highlight right here is so insane. I'm feeling a little bit tempted to just do this. And you know, why not? I'm gonna go right at inner corner do you see how like, whoo, icy, frosty ice. That is so beautiful. Totally goes with the mood of this look. I really, really love it. Let's take just a whisper of the excess under the high point of the brow. I'm gonna go in with a brown liner from Loon and Aster. This is in the shade Copper and I'm just gonna smudge it and then we're gonna take an empty brush and kind of slightly wing it out. Put the pencil on the side. I'm not gonna go all, all the way in. I'm kind of stopping before I get to that inner corner. Moving my head so I can look in the mirror this way. I wanna get down here. I'm gonna, I want this to be a little bit thicker on the outer edge so I am going to kind of line on top of the line. And I'm just taking, this is just a brush on an actual eyeliner. This is from Ficlo. And I'm just going to pull this up and out. I don't want harsh lines right now. Like I don't want like a sharp wing, but this little whisper of shadow, believe it or not, will get you far. Can just give the eyes a little bit of a lift. Time for mascara. Super into this one from Target. This is PYT. I love the shape of the brush. Does not irritate my eyes. We're gonna wiggle at the base, pull it up and out. I like to pull through the center and then I kind of pull toward the nose a little bit, these inner lashes. And while I'm doing that, I have a habit of kind of almost looking over here. So you're kind of getting those lashes to go inward a little bit and then I take the tip of the brush and kind of place the outside lashes how I want them. So you totally can manipulate your placement of lashes, how they stand to help shape the eye depending on how you apply your mascara. I really love this. I love this. It took a minute. I am going to land solid with my glamorous natural effortless look with some natural-ish lashes. These are from Ardell. These are the Faux Mink in 817. I haven't tried this style, so this could be awesome, which we're gonna hope for, or it could be a mistake. Let's find out. Those are pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, I'm gonna pop these puppies on and I will be right back. All right, lashes are on. I gotta undo the hair, get dressed, and I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 
I love my hair like this. This is the new me. This is my makeover. This is my new hair. I love using rollers. I am into it. I'm gonna order more on Amazon tonight. I do believe the ones with metal instead of plastic on the inside would level me up even more, but like, can we talk about it? Can we talk about like the volume? in the hair. It is just making me feel so good. I'm gonna list everything that I used in the description box below from nail polish to my bodysuit. I'll try to track down. This is um, mainly Kendra Scott jewelry that I'm wearing. A lot of you guys ask about that. Abercrombie bodysuit that I bought a long time ago, but I will say, usually with bodysuits, I have to cut the crotch off. I wish I was joking, but otherwise it's just doing things in the front and back that I do not want it to do. So I appreciate when you can find a bodysuit that has enough space in the midsection to not do the things that we don't want it to do. And this one is just like, it's just cozy and nice. I feel natural, but also really glamorous, which is the mood moving forward. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat technique. Get ready with me using products that I know, love and trust where I feel like I've been doing so much testing recently that I put on something and I'm like, oh, that didn't go well. And then by the end, I'm like, oh gosh, I'm just not like super satisfied with the look. And this is more, a go-to routine that I would do with my makeup like on the everyday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you did by thumbsing it up. Leave me a comment. Make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell, come back. I'm here Monday and Thursday. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.